Okay, a few tips on interlays, LASIK flap creation. I'm going to start with interface placement. Move the upper lid out of the way, then use the interface to push the lower lid away before lifting that lower lid up over the bottom of the interface. And then you're ready to come into high magnification and have a good look at centration there with the patient fixating on the fixation light. Then use the index finger from the other hand directly on the interface. You can just see it in the bottom left hand corner there to make sure you've got even apposition before you apply the vacuum. And then you're ready to dock. Useful coaching points for the patient at the beginning and throughout are to keep both eyes open, nice and relaxed. You can blink but not squeeze and in particular keep the other eye open. That helps to keep both eyes from squeezing. Breathe calm. They'll feel a slight pressing feeling. You should prepare them for that. And to keep the head still once it's positioned, that's important, particularly when docked with the chin slightly down and the head slightly tilted to avoid pressurizing the nose with the cone. And then looking at the fixation light to help centration during interface placement. Once you're happy with centration, it's very important to establish even apposition because if you don't do that before you apply the vacuum, the eye can roll and you can lose the centration at that point. Also, it's important to avoid contact with the cornea as you nudge the lower lid out of the way with the interface here. That can disturb the mucus layer, leading to localized dehydration, and localized dehydration during applanation can lead to an uneven flap thickness. Moving on to docking, you're centering the LED lights here within the interface as you bring the cone down. And once you get a green light pressure, you can squeeze the interface handle and lift the interface up onto the applanation glass, minimizing applanation pressure to help reduce problems with OBL. Your task then is to make sure that the applanation meniscus, which you can see here under the glass, is concentric with the yellow flap edge guide marker on the interlay screen before you release the squeeze on the interface handle locking the applanation. That helps to reduce problems with parallax error before you use the interlay software XY controls to center over the pupil and that helps you to get a nicely centered LASIK flap every time. We're seeing the gas pass here once you've locked on with the applanation you're ready to let that run and it's important to reassure the patient all the way through this. It's a nice even gas pattern there. We'll deal with problems with OBL in another video, but I hope some of those tips will help to build consistency into your routine LASIK flap work.